Hi, it's Rob Heppel from FuneralFutures.com and today what I want to do is show you how to add an email signature to your Google Apps account. So um, here we're just looking at uh, my email as if I was about to send out an email and uh, as soon as I hit compose uh, this comes up and uh, it has my email signature uh, already here. Now sometimes I delete it or uh, edit it but um, I just want to show you how you can add that to yours. Now, um, you know, you obviously, you want to. Have, you should have your name. Uh, if you're going to use any graphics or anything, the best graphic to use is a nice uh, photograph with a nice smile. Uh, the most looked at photos are people's faces. So, uh, if not, if you have, if you want to insert a logo, that's that's fine too. Uh, and then just some basic information, uh, maybe some form of call to action. And um, now, and you can do a lot of different things here. Um, just in the space that I'm in with all of the technology and marketing, uh, I've inserted a QR code, which I hope would, um, out of curiosity, people could go and scan that, and then um, go and get all of my contact information, so they where they can connect with me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. Um, but we could just we could just put the links in there ourselves. Uh, behind the scenes, where you find this is if you just go up to the little cog up here at the very top right, and then go to uh, Mail Settings, and it is in this area here for signature. And instead of just no signature, and you can have um, if you have multiple accounts, you can have multiple signatures. So. If I'm sending an email from one of these other accounts, um, a different signature would go up. And then there's just a basic um, editing and things like that. Um, and you can insert the graphics. You need to have the graphic uploaded to the internet first, so you can't. You're not pasting it into the email. It's just pulling that from a from a link. And uh, what I'll do now is show you just how to, how we do it. So here I'm in a um, in a client's account here, and we're going to create an email signature for Debbie. So we'll go to the same here. Go to Mail Settings. It's going to pull this up here. We'll say signature, and I've got uh, all this pre-typed out. And I'll put all of Debbie's information in here. Now I do want to do a couple things. I want to. Uh, they've asked that I add a a logo, so I'm going to do that now. And how we do that is we just go to the insert image, and we want to um, go to the URL. So you need to upload this image first. There it is. There, press OK. If the if it's too big, you need to um, you can't resize it here. You need to resize it uh, in um, uh, first, like on your desktop, and then re-upload it to your to the internet. And we're just going to um, give that a little bit more space there. We can uh, bold this. We'll bold the company name, and then what we want to make sure we do is make sure that all of these links are active. So we're going to uh, make sure we hyperlink all of them. Okay, that's good. And really, that's it. So then we scroll down to the bottom, save changes. And now if we were to compose a new email, you can see that uh, here's the email signature already loaded in. And that's it. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me. This is Robin Heppel.